The Swedish diplomat Joan Floderus has been in an Iranian prison for more than 650 days. Floderus, who works for the EU's diplomatic service and lives in Brussels, was detained in Tehran's airport after a touristic visit to the country. The EU believes he is illegally detained and is a victim of growing arbitrary detentions affecting EU citizens, also known as hostage diplomacy. His family tried to raise awareness in an event in Brussels. I can see from the pictures now from his trial that he looks very different from the brother I know. I see there's like not really this light in his eyes. He looks much skinnier, very pale of course, since he's basically never going out. And I know that he doesn't get as much food as he needs, for example. And not to mention the the pain it must be like inside to to stand there. And like now he is accused for something where they want maybe to give him the death penalty. Uh, so I mean. And also the fact that he's alone there. We don't even have a Swedish ambassador at the moment in Iran, so... Floderus has spent 300 days in isolation and is kept hostage in a 24-hour light cell. For the first 10 months, he could not contact his family. After several hunger strikes, he has now very limited phone calls, and in these almost two years, he only had two video calls. He is forced to do them in English. As you can hear, my English is not fluent because I'm a Swedish native speaker, but we have to speak in English uh, during those calls. And otherwise, they, yeah, that's a demand from, from the other side. And also, we know that the, he's being supervised and they will break off the phone call if something is said that they don't want to. So it's hard for us to know what is really coming from my brother and what is maybe, what is maybe, I, I wouldn't say forced, but yeah, I, I don't know. Iran accused Floderus of what they call corruption on earth and believe he has spied for Israel. The maximum sentence is death penalty. He is an innocent man. That is also the fact I want to really say that I don't think that anyone really feels like uh, my brother has done those crimes that he has accused to. So this is about some big political game where my brother is being used as a pawn. And that is really for me something I cannot accept. And I don't think we as a nation or the European Union either should accept that. His trial started in December and finished last Sunday. There is no date for the verdict.